catch up and get ahead with the edge for the week of May 16th. In a May 13th ruling, the Texas Supreme Court upheld the state's public school financing system as constitutional, rejecting arguments from more than 500 school districts, parents, students, and others who said the system fails to ensure a quality education for all students. In its 100-page ruling, the court urged, but did not require, the legislature to implement transformational top-to-bottom reforms that amount to more than a Band-Aid on top of a Band-Aid. Without a court order telling the legislature what to do, many school groups worry that lawmakers may do nothing at all. Stay tuned to Nowcast SA to see what this means for students, schools, and the legislature going forward. What's the state of Texas children? The Center for Public Policy Priorities issued its annual Kids Count Report, showing that the 7 million kids in Texas rank 41st in the nation in child well-being. In part, that's because one in four Texas children live in poverty. In the San Antonio area, past discriminatory practices still haunt the present. In the 1930s, 65,000 Latino families lived in a four-square-mile area on the west side known as the Mexican Quarter, while black families were restricted to a few neighborhoods on the east side. There were separate schools for whites, Latino, and black students. Those policies are no longer legal, but the effects linger on, with Latino and black children nearly three times more likely to live in poverty than white children. Now, those statistics, I say, are unacceptable. IDRA recently held its annual La Semana del Niño Parent Institute. The event offers families, school district personnel, and community groups from across Texas the opportunity to network, get resources, and information on IDRA's nationally recognized model for parent leadership in education. So why was the city's largest business organization, the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, there? Watch as Hispanic Chamber Vice President Leroy Cavazos explains. Asking yourself, why is a Chamber of Commerce here on a day that focuses on parents and students? It's because we understand the vision of the next 50 to 100 years in San Antonio and what it's going to take to have a healthy workforce. And part of that workforce is our public school system. Actually, 17 local artists were asked to design unique pinwheels as part of the One in Five Minds campaign to eradicate the stigma and raise awareness about children's mental health. The pinwheels were unveiled at San Antonio's Central Library at the beginning of May, which is Mental Health Awareness Month. Then they went on display at locations throughout the city. Later, the pinwheels will be auctioned off with proceeds benefiting Clarity Child Guidance Center, a not-for-profit mental health treatment center for children. One in five children struggle with mental illness. Watch artist Rex Hausman as he describes the significance of the pinwheel and expresses his hopes for what this project will mean. Behind it was, when these kids are going through a really hard time, their head is spinning, right? And you need to simplify things. But then the hope is that as you get inside the real matters of things, it turns into family, friends, coffee, walking a dog, um, really, really things that I look forward to every day. Find more on all of these stories at nowcastsa.com. And as always, thanks for watching The Edge.